In this tutorial, we're going to set up our render sequence. Now that I've got my lighting the way I want, and I've got the ship animated as well as the planet, I'm ready to export the sequence of animated TIFFs. I'm going to start by going to the render settings, which is at the top of the user interface. It appears as a little Hollywood clapboard with a small blue gear in the lower right corner. Just to the left of that ball, which is our hypershade, so I'll click on it. And I'll make sure that the render using Arnold Render is chosen. I'm now going to name it under File Output. And I'm going to choose the image format as TIFF. I'm going to scroll down a bit here. And I'm going to choose from Frame Animation Extension the very last choice. Name, underscore, frame number, and then the extension. That is so After Effects will understand our frame sequence. I'll scroll down further, making sure I've got the start frame is 1 and the end frame is 200. I'm going to make sure that the renderable camera is 1. That's what I've chosen. And set my render to be from. I'll close it out. I'll hold down the spacebar. I'm going to go to Render. And about two-thirds of the way down, I'm going to go to the Render Sequence Attributes. Once again, I'll make sure Camera 1 has been chosen. And then I'm going to click on the folder in the Render Sequence window. And I want to direct these renders to a folder in my project window. I'll select the Image folder and hit Select. And now I'll click on Render Sequence. Once I'm finished with my Render Sequence, I'll go into my Image Folder to confirm I have what I want. I'll select any one of the frames, tap the space bar. And now if I were at the top, I could use my down arrow to preview all the other frames rendered. And you can see, based on that white background, we were able to introduce that alpha channel that will allow us to composite it in After Effects with a background.